Hey guys, Danny with Myro Control. Just giving you a sneak peek of Myro Air. This is the bare bones. You can see it uh, still in late, late development. Uh, it's almost ready for production. Just doing some final tweaking. Uh, we've got a Rust Sound keypad here. This is connected to C5. Um, the audio analog outputs from uh, the Wolfson WM8741 uh, DAC is actually fed to a Bauer and Wilkins Zeppelin uh, through line out from the Myro Air into line in. Uh, and then also uh, we've got a parallel Toshlink uh, optical output. Uh, and I'll explain that in a second. But the beauty here is when we go over to iTunes, and sorry for the crudeness here, it's, uh, it's a little late and uh, the lighting's not that great. But you can see here we've got Myro Air listed on the network. Um, I can select a song, so down here, let's do Lumineers, hit play, so I can actually hit play from the keypad, I'm sorry, from the iTunes, and then over here on the keypad, you'll see it says AirPlay, and it starts playing through the speaker system, and I can actually hit pause, we can do all the cool stuff here, play pause, it paused it, we can hit play again, um, it'll start back up here, we can hit next track, so all this is happening wirelessly. Uh, via AirPlay. So now we've got uh, Bright Eyes, first day of my life. We can hit next again and get a um, great song here, Horchata. So you can see how this all works is the Rust Sound system is actually tied in via Rnet uh, input and output. Um, and I'll explain that in a second. But you can see when it's streaming, it's pulsing nicely, and that's going to show up in front of the case. It's bad lighting in here. This is the case. There'll be a little light here and it'll pulse just like the Apple display is a really nice uh, clear uh, indicator. But let's dig deeper into here. You can see the Wema uh, capacitors made in Germany. High, high-end stuff here. Um, again, this is the optical output. They run in parallel. So the beauty of this is that you could have the analog output fed from the DAC or also in parallel be sending it out to an external DAC into an external receiver. Uh, the optical is actually powered by a WM8804 also by Wolfson. So really high-end uh, components, audio components here. Next up right here, hard to see, but it's a USB host connector. So you can plug your iPhone, iPod Touch, uh, iPad and also charge and send audio directly through it. So if you're having a party and you don't want to do airplay, you can actually have it be uh, dock there and stream audio um, and charge at the same time. This is the Mav uh, the Myro Link uh, ID. It's also like the Rnet ID equivalent. Uh, this is the Rnet port or the Myro Link port. So in out two ports. Um, Ethernet. RS-232, exactly like Crestron. This is how you would interface with a Crestron. Um, also, any other third party will be providing the full protocol spec shortly. This is uh, USB uh, for servicing. Uh, for more upgrades, we'll actually have them by an onboard web page. Uh, reset button and 12 volt input. And that pretty much is, uh, is everything there. You can see it fully functioning. Uh, sounds great. Still, like I said, refining the the DAC side of things, making, you know, selecting the appropriate filters, uh, creating the final firmware. So we should be going to production hopefully sooner than later. Um, cases, well, I'll do another video showing the whole case and everything buttoned up, but I just wanted to guys give you a sneak peek here on a uh, Wednesday night around 9 o'clock here. So enjoy.